like a very airy square slice, so light. Really one of the best slices in New York City right now. We are in the golden age of pizza right here, folks, in New York City. Golden age of New York City pizza, straight up. Today's pizza day. Pizza, pizza, pizza. So New York City is going through a pizza renaissance right now. Uh, so we're gonna show you in this multi-part series some of the best new slice shops here in New York City. Right here in Manhattan, we're actually gonna start with a place that's really impressive. It's called Scars. And Scars, they actually mill some of their own flour in the basement. That is truly next level. So they blend that in with some other flour they source from upstate New York. And Scars, the name after the owner, Scar Pimentel, who's a native New Yorker. He wanted to take the old school slice shop and modernize a little bit with higher quality ingredients. First stop, they got regular and square slice. Start off with the classic New York slice. You already got the nice New York fold. Look at it, no flop, it's very sturdy. Uh, let's take a bite. Mm. A bite of the back of the crust by itself too. It's crisp, but has a nice chew to it. A lot of oregano in the sauce, which I personally really like. Uh, the mozzarella is really nice, and he also tops it with a little Parmesan cheese for a little extra funk to it. Mm. The try out their square slice. So this one looks really nice. They top it with basil, Parmesan, and also some drizzle some olive oil. This one came fresh out of the oven, so let's take a bite. It looks really good. Mmm. This is on top, so you really get to taste it. Very nice zesty tomato flavor. Let's take a bite with the basil. Mm. A very airy square slice, so light. This slice epitomizes new school New York pizza and this new golden age. Classic New York right here. Absolutely. This area, Little Italy in Manhattan has changed a lot over the years. It's much smaller than it once was, and you wouldn't normally come here for pizza, but there's actually a new school place that opened up late in 2019 called Monero. First slice we got from Monero's is the margarita. And the first thing that stands out right away is how fluffy this cornicione is. So that's the edge of the pizza for those who don't know. It's very fluffy, look at that. But it's also really dark brown. It's got a really nice bake to it. Kind of reminds you of say a Neapolitan style, the way it's puffy on the edges, but with the New York twist. This really is a perfect fusion of the two. This looks delicious, this margarita. So you have the fresh mozzarella. There's actually thin slices of garlic. So you're a Goodfellas fan, looks like they cut it with the razor. And then they got the big slice of basil right here. Oh, it's a really nice, I, I can't even talk about it anymore. I need to take a bite of this. It's just calling my name. So let's fold it. Yeah. That sliced garlic adds so much flavor to it. You don't often see whole slice of garlic on a margarita slice like this. Wow. Now with this puffy cornicione, I want to take a bite of the back edge too. Mmm, excellent. It's a perfect char on the bottom too. Mmm, what a great slice. We also love burrata, so we saw you can add burratas to a slice. We figure why not? So we got a regular slice that has the sauce on top and the fresh burrata. Look at that, it looks so creamy. Yeah, it looks so creamy. I'm gonna fold it up and take a bite. Mmm. That is ridiculously creamy. And the burrata is so cool to contrast the warm slice. Oh, we love burrata on pizza. It's so, so decadent. Mm. Pickle garlic in there too, wow. Love they don't hold back on the garlic in this place. Big fan of garlic, you love it. Burrata Gotham West Market Corner Slice. Yep. The reason why it's called corner slice because all they sell here are square slices. So you, you know, they call it the corner slice is the one on the edge of the pan. That's the one you want, it's desired, extra crust. And what's awesome about this place, they only sell square slices. I'm gonna start off here with a tomato slice, a very unique slice, it's very thin. Uh, there's no mozzarella, so it's just uh, fresh tomato. There's a lot of herbs and Parmesan. There's also sliced garlic on top. So let's take a bite. Mmm, crunch right away. This is one of the airiest slices I've had in New York City. And being this thin, it's even more impressive. So you really taste the flavor of those herbs. The oregano is very strong. The Parmesan cheese really comes in, gives it that nice little bit of uh, saltiness to it. Then you have that garlic, but the tomatoes are so nice and tangy. It's really good slice. Mm. Now we got our corner slice. This is uh, pepperoni. It says the fresh mozzarella has a little bit of sauce on top. You see some basil, but it has those extra special what we call roni cups. So that's the pepperoni with the natural casing that crisps up when you cook it like this. So we get those little puddles of oil inside. 
And this one also has some oregano as well, so let's take a bite. Mmm, that crust is just so airy. That's what makes these spots like these special, is just the attention to detail on that crust. It's so airy, delicious. And the pepperoni cup, it's so crispy on the outside. You can crunch this too. Mmm. Wow. Can't wait to eat mine. Mmm. Mmm, wow. I just want to nibble on this like, I like pepperoni chips. Mmm, wow. So airy. All right, so we're here outside Upside Pizza. And a cool story about Upside Pizza, we're actually in like a dead zone for good food. We're actually in a wasteland for good food, right blocks away from Times Square. So the owners of Two Bros, they actually own this place. So Two Bros is a famous dollar slice joint here in the city. So they opened up a place called Upside Pizza that has focused on more high quality ingredients and it's a little pricier for slice, but they use sourdough starters. So no commercial yeast, everything's much lighter, sits well in your stomachs. We got sausage, and it also has two types of peppers. They make the peppers in-house too. It's um, spicy and sweet peppers. So it's those ground sausage chunks that we love. Let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Sauce on top of the cheese. The sausage is really meaty, juicy, but what really makes this slice stand out is those spicy and sweet peppers. Oh, you get that spicy kick. See the slice from another level. And look how thin and crisp this crust is. I'm gonna take a bite on the side. Mm. There, along, along with the Louis and Ernie's and the Bronx, is one of the best sausage slices in the city. Wow. And of course, we had to get a square slice here, and their square slices are very special. So if you saw our Detroit style pizza video, we'll put a card up here. They do a similar style here, so it gets those caramelized cheese edges from the special pans, and they put the sauce on top, like a racing stripe. So we're gonna take a bite. Mm. Right, very light, airy. Most importantly, gotta take a bite of the crispy cheese edge. Yeah. It's very rare to get a Detroit style cheese edge on a single slice here in the city, so definitely check them out. Get to our last stop, which is Mama's 2. That's right. Mama's 2, it's not the number 2 at the end, it's actually TOO, like 2. And that's because this spot is owned by the son of the other Mama's, which is down the block. It's an old school Upper West Side pizzeria. So this is a new school twist, Mama's 2. They're known as one of the best pizzerias in the city, one of the best new spots, exactly why I wanted to highlight it. They were actually written up in the New York Times and got one star a couple years ago, which is a big deal for just a neighborhood slice joint. Our final stop for the day, and we got this beauty right out of the oven. This is the house slice. So the house slice is like the regular slice, and the first thing you notice is how puffy the cornicione is on the outside. It's really fluffy, kind of like Monero's. But look at that whole structure there. It's very light, crisp. It's covered in basil, so much basil. We love it. There's sauce on top of the cheese and you have the grated Parmesan, there's olive oil. This is like a classic slice. Just to take it to another level, let's take a bite. It looks so good. And the bottom is just perfectly cooked. Look at that. Oh my God. Mm. This is incredible. This is really a classic New York slice taken to a whole other level. If you are a level of basil like we are, fresh parmesan, olive oil, this is your slice right here. Mm. We have sopressata, slice. With hot honey. With hot honey and vodka. Vodka slice, ooh, it's hefty. So a lot of uh, basil on top, grated parmesan, mm. vodka sauce. Mm. Very rich, this one. The sides have the caramelized cheese, kind of like Detroit style, but not as heavy of a uh, not as much of a rise as Detroit style. We do have that nice little frico edge, the crisp cheese. Mm. Uh, Soprasada with hot honey, look at that. So the Soprasada is the big slices, they curve up like the Roni cup pepperoni that you saw at Corner Slice. So you see there's that oil that's in there. Hot honey, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. The Soprasada is so good. Soprasada is like pepperoni on steroids, you know, you got the big slices. And it's really crunchy like that pepperoni from before. So it's salty, you get a little sweet from the honey, but you can also get that spicy kick from the spicy honey. This is good stuff too. This is my pick. That was a good pick. Oh god, well, Soprasada with honey is my pick. I need to fold this thing. <laughs> <laughs>